The double helix is the essential code of life. And uh, Narvi is uh, suggesting that ayahuasca taps us into the most primordial levels of our sense of self, of our own intrinsic biology. I was thinking about that. I was trying to figure out how that would happen. I mean, there are people who do descend into their DNA on a big psychedelic trip. Uh, they sort of see their consciousness get finer and finer and finer from their bodies to their organs to their cells to their nucleus to their DNA. We've got all the receptors there, and, and our, these receptors are exquisitely sensitive to even the most minute doses of some hallucinogens. Why is that? We seem to have evolved in some uh, a parallel path, let's say, the human central nervous system and, and plant hallucinogens. Uh, did we come from a common core origin? Why is it that the human brain is wired to be so exquisitely sensitive to even minute doses of hallucinogens this, to me is an interesting question for scientists and philosophers to ponder pcr is another place where i was down there with the molecules when i discovered it and i wasn't stoned on lsd but my mind by then had learned to get down there. I could sit on a DNA molecule and watch the polarities go by, you know, and I didn't feel dumb about that. I felt like, I, I mean, that's just the way I think. It's like I put myself in all different kinds of spots. And I've learned that partially, I would think, this is again my opinion, through psychedelic drugs. Dr. Carey Mullis, I now ask you to receive the Nobel Prize from the hands of His Majesty the King. Biogeneticist Dr. Carrie Mullis had won the Nobel Prize for inventing PCR, a revolutionary technique for multiplying tiny amounts of DNA for use in genetic research. A creative breakthrough he claims came from psychedelic drug use. I don't do experiments often, you know, in big things like, what would, if I had not taken LSD ever? Would I have still invented PCR? I don't know. I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. I was inspired to create the series of paintings, The Sacred Mirrors, initially by a psychedelic experience. And that brought me out of my body. I'd like to combine the understanding of Western science with the more Asian and Eastern understanding about the life energy systems and things, and the shamanic understanding that it's all interwoven, you know, that uh, we're uh, from matter to spirit, it's a continuum. And to show that that primordial understanding uh, is throughout all the different cultures and all those things are very related though to the shamanic realms so the ability to use those states creatively and for a higher purpose than just being crazy or just you know s staying high or or whatever gives them a way to use 
these visionary uh, tools. I think that more artists are experiencing the mystical state. There, there's no choice. After you have the experience, your work has to reference it. Ah, uh, 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 uh,